We always loved rock music. When we was kids, our first idols were like uh, early Queen, Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Aerosmith, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. And uh, that's what. We, and at the time, 1981, I would say punk was really kind of on its knees, and the people we was involved with. We always wanted to do a rock album, and if I ever had the chance to do one again, I would. That's it. Point is, you can't keep rehashing the same old stuff, because that's where the rip-off lies, you know? You've got to move on, you've got to progress. Any band there, or it dies on its feet. Obviously, the first wave of punk I thought was fantastic. I love the Pistols, the Dam, the Ramones, the Clash. Yeah. To me, that we really kept it like the Stranglers, bands like that. I love that, you know? But it's listen to, all, listen to all different types of music, except for all that electronic dance crap, you know? <laughs> and this rap, you know? I can't be doing it. Uh huh, uh huh. Now, the gutter, I would say, is a partial return of the vintage sound, but we're always retaining that rock sensibility. You've got to have a hook line there, and the Cockney Regents have always believed in that. It's never been out and out, punk for punk's sake. It's always that we have some sort of hook, some, some sort, sort of tune, tune, and something that you know, something you can sing along to. Yeah, it's a mixture of like Power and the Glory, Wild Ones, Early Regents. Yeah. It's very hard to capture the same sound. That was when you was 15 to when you're like 40, you know? It's like, <laughs> like, 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 things get a bit tricky. Where the hell is Babylon? 